So we've now got two bits. This bit that says do not remove, <laughs> which is removed, and this bit which goes in the top, like, like that. It's a bit of a tight fit at the moment, I've got to clean it more. And then, there's this big pin that when those two bits are together, these two, these two holes line up and that drops through. That's the pin you're supposed to pull out, which allows you to remove this bit out. It's quite tight. Um, and that's, I think, how you're supposed to remove it. If you want to leave it long term, you can um, pull out the existing thing and accept a bit of water in the boat and put the proper seal on. Um, so that's what I'm going to do next is clean this piece, then put the new paddle wheel in here, which is just a pin, a wheel and that. And then there's only two O-rings on, on here, but there's space for one, two, three, four. And the repair kit has got five in it. So I guess uh, I'll be filling some more. And I think that will make it easier to put it out as well. So, uh, so part two, <coughs> got the new paddle wheel to put in here and the pin. So uh, pin slides in there. Paddle, paddle wheel in. Might need a, uh, Right. Might need a slight touch with the, the hammer there. I think what happened here slightly is the um, the pin got slightly bent trying to get the old one out. So it's probably going to make it a bit tricky to get this one in. Okay, this is the uh, new paddle wheel fitted. Runs absolutely super smooth. The old one ran reasonably well, but it, there was a very tiny bit of friction on there, so I don't know if that was the cause of the, the problem with the log reading not working. So, um, <coughs> right, I'm gonna assemble the next bits, ready for the next part. So we now have got the paddle wheel in, four O-rings, one, two, three, four. I've cleaned out this piece as well. And then um, there's two locating pins here that locate in the top of this bit. And this now just slides in and locks in there. And then with this nice clean pin, we put that in there. And um, it's free, there's a, um, another um, ring metal ring that will clip in the other side in a minute and that will stop this from just flying out um, so um, I'll put that on now so <coughs> it's just simply one of these so that's gonna stop that from coming out now completely and now this piece is ready to go back in uh, the the boat so I shall get the sponge out ready because unfortunately I've got to um, let water in the boat again <laughs> so here we go so one top tip here is uh, which I forgot was um, before I put this pin in and the hook uh, make sure that the screw top piece is on it was down on the end of the cable where I've been working if you, <coughs> if you put that in you can't uh, you can't tighten this up, which is um, when I was doing the dry run through of what I'm about to do. I realised I had a problem. So here we go. I just love this part of the job. Undo this piece, and then we pull this bit out. If we can, right. That's freed up a bit making sure we know which way. There's an arrow on the top, which tells you which way to put this in. Obviously it's important. 
So here we go. Okay, double checking the arrow. Great news about the new GoPro is uh, it's completely waterproof. <laughs> so that's now screwed in. Uh, so if we pull this out here, Ta -da. and you might need to slacken this off a bit, I suppose, but right, I'll pull this out now, and we only have a small bit of water leaking in. Big improvement. So it doesn't stop everything, uh, but it is very, very good. And I think it's gonna save emptying loads of water out of the bilge all the time. Anyway, I thought that'd be a useful bit of information to share. Good luck with Hubwink.